Now we're going to go to the shooting in Dayton. New video this morning shows the terror inside the bar where the shooter was heading when police gunned him down. Authorities there are still searching for answers, trying to figure out why the gunman murdered nine people, including his own sister. Eva Pilgrim is in Dayton with the latest. Good morning, Eva. Good morning, Michael. You can see the memorial here growing. Those terrifying moments, that shooter just steps from getting inside that bar. Moments of terror. Chilling new video from inside a bar that shows the moment that gunman tried to get inside. <laughs> Surveillance video showing people early Sunday morning scrambling for their lives, ducking into that bar to get away from 24-year-old Connor Betts, police shooting him right by the entrance. We have looked like nine or ten shots. Dylan Arnold was trying to walk out of the bar as the shooter was rushing the door. You think you have time to react. You're going to do something cool, something macho, but you don't. In this video, you'll see as he's flung across the room. <laughs> Dylan says the person who pushed him back, saving his life, the bouncer, Jeremy Ganger, seen here crouched by the door. He stood there. He was just a little off to the side, just getting people in. He kept looking around the corner, kept just his main goal was to get as many people in the club. If he wasn't there, and especially if the officers weren't there, I know I'd be gone. The shooter able to kill nine, injuring over a dozen in less than 30 seconds. Strangers desperately seen trying to help performing CPR. Among the dead, the shooter's sister. Police say the gunman was carrying these two 100 round capacity magazines, which are legal to own, and he fired at least 41 times. As authorities scour the alleged shooter's background for a motive, former high school classmates tell ABC News he once made a hit list naming classmates he either wanted to kill or sexually assault. ABC News confirming the reports with the girl's parents. He did make a list of women that he wanted to kill, many of whom I was friends with. Now, we spoke with a shooter's ex-girlfriend last night. She tells us that she broke up with him back in May after seeing some concerning behavior. George. Okay, but thanks. We know the president expected to go to Dayton tomorrow as well. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.